All right, we're live. We're live. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Swiss Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live from PAX Unplugged in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm Matt, and I'm joined here with... I'm Jeff. And? I'm Bruce from North Star Games. Hi, Bruce. Hey. I'm also Bruce from the Twist Morning Show. Oh, my God. I don't know if you've watched... Uh, you might recognize them. You might recognize me. I feel like like when you watch uh, local television and the person that does the morning show is for some reason at the 5 o'clock telecast, and you're like, why aren't you home? <laughs> why what? aren't you? Get Were some you there sleep, all big day? guy. Why do they yeah. tell you to do this? <laughs> yeah, did you? Is there a bed there? Is there a close hotel? Well, I'm God, always, I hope you're all right. When I see the morning show, I'm always like, why don't they just recast last night's news? <laughs> No, that much could not have happened. Like anyone it's wake, only been like yeah. six hours. Anyone waking up this early, they probably didn't catch it last night. So Yeah, that's probably true. So, Bruce, what are we looking at today? We are looking at... Boom! Evolution the beginning. Uh, it is a Target exclusive currently. Target. Target. Yeah. It is at Target. If you saw the morning show, we told you the list of items you could buy along with a copy of Evolution the Beginning. You can also win a copy of Evolution the Beginning by watching for tickets for coins. I can clarify this. That you I can, can clarify okay, this. Okay, okay. Okay, so for every minute that you watch, you're going to be getting some points that you could use to redeem on tickets for the giveaway. And that's going to be in the Stream Element Store and Panda TP. She's sitting off to the side here, but she will post that link in chat in just a second here. And uh, it will show you how you can win your what, own copy of what Evolution. Makes, what makes a game a Target exclusive? They only sell it at Target. Sell oh, no, Target. Like <laughs> 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 Are there any benefits to that aside from on your side? So I mean, it's cheaper, right? Uh, like for the consumer. For, for the for the consumer, it did is. Did you guys cover this already? Uh, we did not. Oh, okay, no. cool. No, okay, so for the I know the other. Yeah, go it's ahead. a case where you, if you, a lot of times we say like, go to your local game store, right? And we love that. We love uh, local small business game stores. But then inevitably, someone's going to say, well, I don't live near any friendly local game stores. Right. Yes. So we can do. put this game in Target. Everybody's got a Target near them. Mm -hmm. So that's one benefit of the consumers. You're going to be able to get this game. You're not going to have to fight people. You're not going well, to have to hope that you're like, the only uh, copy. Some other Target exclusives would be like. Star Trek Catan and code names with the bad bad words. So the bad words code names, yeah. those all came out along with this game at the same time. Okay, oh. well code names bad word or bad word code names was like I think designed by Target. Yeah, no, this no, no. Game we, isn't no, we really, by Target, no, is it? we showed oh. it to Target, and Target said that game's awesome. Okay. We want to be the only ones to carry it. We think it's that That's cool. Good. As opposed to, yeah, I remember because I remember talking to everyone. Vlada's name is not on that game. <laughs> yeah. All so right. so let's, this game let's was not in. designed by Target. This game was, it was designed by Dominic Krabbish, the same guy who designed uh, Evolution. Okay? Okay, this cool. is a streamlined version of Evolution. Uh, if you know the game Evolution, you know that it's a game about a dynamic ecosystem mm -hmm. uh, where you are attempting to thrive and survive. We figured out scientifically you do that by eating the most food. Okay? Um, in this game, in that game, like there are Friday 17 night. different cards. In this game, there are only 10. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to start with the first turn face up. We're each going to take one turn face up. At the end of that, you're going to completely understand how it works. Okay. I okay. need you to join me in some spirit fingers right now while we switch over to the board cam. I don't know how. You didn't tell me how. Woo! Uh, yes, we may have different distribution in the EU. Agreed. I don't know what that is because I'm here to show it to you. But, uh, yes. Thank you, are Mr. There, Frightful. Are there targets in the EU? No. That's why I may have different distribution. What do they the have EU. there? That well, oh, they have Primark. Primark is they their have Primark. Okay. Yeah, when I was in Amsterdam a week and a half ago, Primark was the target of that area. So a turn works like this. Mm -hmm. uh, in every turn, it's one, two, three. Cards in this game are absolutely everything. If you put it in front of you, that is a new species. If you put that, would be two new species. If you put a card like that, that is now a species with two population. Okay. okay. They also can be good for the traits on the card. So every turn, one new species, two food go in the middle, three cards go in my hand. Okay? Uh, and I can use as many or as few of these as I want. There are no limits in this game at all. No limits on hand size, no limits on population. Only one limit, which is you can only have three different traits per species. Okay. And that's it. Everything else has no limits. Okay? So these uh, explain, let me... Get the, oh, let me just, yeah, let's do... I can show them off in the card cam okay, for you. Okay, yeah, let's show them off in the card cam. So I have one there. Uh, fertile. fertile helps me gain a population. Before I draw cards at the start of my turn, I would get an extra one. And the one I'm going to play, which is Long Neck. Before feeding this species, I can get three food from the excess food pile. Okay, okay. so that allows me to go here and grab food rather than messing with the watering hole. So what I'm going to do is, for an opening turn, I'm going to do this. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. So I have one species with three population. Mm -hmm. Before feeding this species, it eats food from the excess food pile. So I'm gonna grab those. We actually put little markers right on the cards to show you right where the food goes. Okay. At the end of my turn, I get to eat. Nom, 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 and they go in my decorative bag. Bop, bop, bop. Let's, let's show off some decorative yep. bag action right here. There's a decorative bag. So your turn starts, one species. Okay. Two food go in the middle, three cards go in your hand. Okay. Okay. So now you have one of the interesting decisions to make in evolution, which is you have a carnivore. Okay, all the rest of us are omnivores. We eat, we can eat any food we want to, and normally we go to the watering hole because the watering hole doesn't bite back. Until me. Until you. Now you're a carnivore. You can survive by eating other players rather than eating from the watering I hole. Know you what cannot I'm, eat from the watering I hole. I know what I'm playing. Okay. Um, a thing to note, let me show you something real quick. Carnivores, if they want to attack, as long as there's no defense, they just get to attack. However, a lot of the cards in the game are defense cards, like this one right here, which is called Speed. Yep. If I have Speed as prey, you have to have Speed as a carnivore. As long as you have it, you punch through it, and you get to eat me. Okay. Um, and there are a few of those cards. There's Speed, there's Burrowing, there's Flight, and there's Nocturnal. So if I come out at night, you have to come out at night. If I can fly, you have to fly. And it's that simple. In Evolution, it's things like if I have a warning call, I can protect to my left and my right, unless you have... This did away with that and just made it as clean as possible. Okay, so um, head, head to head. Head to head, and you can simply understand if I have speed, you need speed. Makes okay? sense. Right now, all I have is a long neck with no protection whatsoever. That long neck looks mighty tasty, Bruce. Yep, and when you attack, so here's how it's going to work. Each time you attack, you kill one of my population and you mm. get two food. You can only eat food for as many population as you have. Okay. Because if you don't have dudes to eat it, it just sits in the field. It's the, it would be the equivalent of, of killing me. Eating as much as you can and just leaving what's left. There's just nothing else to eat it. That just seems like a waste. Yes. So you should put more population up so that you can take advantage of being able to eat me. Okay. So if I kill, so I only get two though, right? You only get two food. Now, if you were to put the third one up, you could kill me twice because you keep attacking until you're full. Right. So you would get to kill two of my population. You just only get to eat three food. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, and I would say that probably is your best play. So two population. Yep, so you're going to make the first attack. No, no, no. Oh, lead. I lose mine. Oh, you're the predator. Oh, I'm the prey. Oh, oh, oh. You have three, Backwards. essentially a population of three carnivores. Yeah. Yep. And he has three dumb long necks that are just ready to be torn to shreds. Super tasty. I'm, so I'm you're going to make you. the first attack. You eat the first card that goes in the discard pile. You get two food. Okay. Okay. Yum, yum. You are still hungry. Sure you am. kill another one of my long necks that goes in the discard pile, and you're going to get, you would get two if they had been available. But I only get one because I only have one population. Exactly. I don't know if this will show up, but if you can see that. Yeah, it's, it's no, the, the green screen doesn't work. The yeah, invisible plants. Um, all the tokens are unique. They're not like the same little green shit. Yeah, there's little kind of things it's, going yeah, on. Yeah, it's really cute. And they're pretty. And now, it's your turn. We're going to give you one population, two food go in the middle. Notice that now there's a lot of food, and you have three cards. Uh, and all you have is protection. So I'm benefiting you guys a little bit in terms of food since I'm not eating from the same food source as you. Exactly. But I'm eating you. Yeah, exactly. And the entire strategy in this game, it's as much playing the players as playing the game. I need to figure out that the environment is changing, and I need to change dynamically with it. So at the point you're attacking... So you're saying you need to evolve? Yeah. Ooh! I did say that. <laughs> Pre yeah. Prepare for my eye rolls all weekend. Just, you know, I'm, yeah. That's, that's kind of what I'm here <laughs> yeah. for. Um, so I get three plays, is that right? You, you can play as many cards or as few as you oh, want. Okay. You get to keep... Remember, no, only limits are three traits per species. So you have burrowing and nocturnal. So for you to attack him now, you would need both of those. Well, damn. Not just Come one. out at night and go underground, buddy. Yep. That's and just now what, you get to take two food like to feed your two life. population. <laughs> <laughs> you get to grab two food to feed your two population. Yep. Then the end know. of your turn, you put everything in your bag. At no. the end of your turn, you put it all in your bag. No. No. So it's my turn. One new uh, species, yeah. two new food, un, deux, trois, three new cards. So, and I will play. We only have a couple more. We have 10 or so minutes here, so we'll just, uh, I'll keep playing face up. Uh, defensive Horns is sort of a joker for defense. That's a that's uh, a really pretty card, isn't it? So you, the is, green's green screen, and but it's a very yeah, pretty chameleon green screen doesn't with some do horns it right there. So defensive uh, horns, what does this do, Bruce? Before receiving food, a carnivore loses a population. So if you want to attack me, you can, but you're going to lose one because my defensive horns gore one of your guys. I have to sacrifice myself. Yes. To and that's one of the things thematically that people have the biggest problem with in evolution is you need to remember that this is not like one dude. This is an entire species. Right. right. So when you're losing part of your thing, one of your guys had to die for another guy to eat. Yep. Um, I'm going to, I want to get my long neck up to where it can do things. So I'm going to set my long neck up 
and then I'm going to give it defensive horns, uh, just so that when you, you hit me, it hurts a lot. I, just, uh, I find that really funny thematically, just the horns on the top of this yeah, really he's long like, neck, uh, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, giraffes have, like, little horns, right? That's They're true. That's true. Well, imagine 10,000 years ago when giraffes would just, like, whip their spike heads to kill people. That's terrifying. Right? I whip my head terrifying. back and forth. I whip my head back and forth. Uh, whip your okay. horns back and forth. Yeah, that is, yes. that is what that would be. There you go. So I took all my food, put it in my bag, end of my turn. Okay. New turn, one new species. One new species. And that is not population. That is you're always going to get a new species. Okay. Two new food went in the middle. Three new cards go in your hand. As a note, we're probably not going to get to the end here. The game takes about 25, 30 minutes. Uh, but you play to the end of the deck. And then once you get to the end of the deck, everybody gets an equal number of turns. You get points for all of the food in your bag. You get points for every card on the table and every card in your hand. So even the scoring at the end is streamlined to make it as simple for people to understand as possible. So the game plays great with kids. If you're like me, I, I have like nine IKEA flug dogs filled with games. This is great because if I forget how to play it, I can pull it out one page ago. Oh, that's how it works. And I can play within three or four minutes, even if I've forgotten kind of how the game works. Okay, so we're taking a look. What are you doing? So I'm gonna play a nocturnal on my carnivore here. Okay. I don't have the uh, the burrowing yet, but I'm just I'm building it up so I can attack Jeff eventually. I yep. also saw another really dangerous card in your hand. That's the fat tissue. That is the fat tissue. Yeah. Because that gives you like an invisible second circle. Uh, another thing we haven't talked about yet: if you can't feed your population, yeah, they die. You have to discard them. However, that gives you an invisible second circle. You don't have to fill, but you're allowed to. Okay. So if you play it. You would be able to eat two food for each population. So each time you killed one of my guys off, you would eat two, and then you would eat two, and then you would eat two. But each time I attack you, I... You, mm. Yeah, with this one. This one you could eat all day long twice on Sunday. Well, Good so news is that you only need to get three food to live. You can eat up to six food. And I could do up to three evolutions on one... Yep, three traits on one, and at any point if you want to dump a trait and put a new trait in, you're allowed to. Oh. But that is terrible card economy. So if you do it, you should have a reason. Okay. I'm going to play a, uh, a fat tissue here okay. on add speed, and then I'll, I'll just add to the population. Okay. So then I'm going to... I have to manage both of these guys now? Yes. So you start eating. Uh, there's not necessarily like a threaded part of the eating turn. You just eat. Okay. So do whatever you need to do. So Look I, at I, that butt. I, yeah. That's, he's got a donk on him. No doubt. Butt donk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm no, going to... Not unical. I'm going to have to eat one of uh, your guys. I'm going to eat the, the defense, poor defenseless guy right there. You're going to eat the defenseless guy. Okay. Yeah. So that gets you two food. Right. That goes over on your nocturnal carnivore. Okay. And, uh, well, so I need to... I'm still hungry. Yes. So I'm going to have to eat your... Your defended guy. So but I'm gonna once you do, it's going to kill your guy anyway. Right. But you'll cost me one as well. Might as well. So then I'm dead. And then I, I kill this dead. off. Yep. And they all go that discarded. That a bad shot right there. Uh, and then now your fat tissue guy eats from the watering hole. Right. And can eat two food per population so, because of fat tissue. So yeah. I'll take some extra food. Because the card is unbalanced and it's a broken game. <laughs> He's How do you really win. feel, Jeff? <laughs> it is not because he's uh, he's undefended. Yeah. I know. So I'm as soon as you get a carnivore, him. you can rip him in three pieces. Yeah. And, and that's because some... he's that big, you can rip him in seven pieces. Yeah. Right. Pretty delicious pieces too. Indeed. Very slow roast me. You know. Indeed. The problem is they cook down to not a lot. You buy a lot when you start, and then there really isn't a lot left. But the fat's the flavor. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So you can now put all those in your bag. Okay. And Jeff, it is your turn. Yep. One. Two. Three. Da -da, da -da. And remember, you have a chance to win this game by watching for minutes to get coins to buy the small prize. And then when you buy four of the small prizes, you can turn them in for the medium prize. And when you get three medium prizes, you can get the big prize. And you could also <laughs> redeem the points for, like, Tootsie Rolls and, like, a bouncy ball. We're just like Chuck E. Cheese. Exactly. It's exactly like Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing there, Jeff? I'm going to... Murder your carnivore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're you're eating entirely. Oh no, entirely. Oh, you're killing the entire Just population. One big gulp. Well, damn. So, I'm so unhinge my jaw. Yeah. I was gonna have to explain this. I'm glad you got to it. So now you're gonna discard all four of those cards. Anytime a species goes extinct, which is exactly what happened there, you get one card in your hand for each of the traits that your species had. Okay, so you do so get, two get two cards, cards in your hand for it, Perfect. and you're gonna get your three food. Boop, boop, boop. Yep. And um, then I get two food for this guy, yep. and then I collect. And it moves over to me. One, two in the middle, un, deux, trois in my hand, and let's see what's happening. We'll throw those in the discard because, yeah. So how are we on time right now, Panda? Got to start with the, the circular? 
So how? What can you take us through the scoring of how this absolutely? Would score so out? Uh, we play until the deck is out of cards, and mm -hmm. then everybody gets an equal number of turns. So it would make sure that, that Mur it would Mur's end here. Bob would like to point out. That would be good to have a board game version of Chuck E. Cheese. I agree. You know, at one point I actually wanted to do it for Con. I wanted us to set up, and every time you played a demo, you, we just handed you tickets and you redeemed them. I still want to try and do that for Washington, our local convention uh, in Washington, D.C. So yep. it is a thing I've thought of and I think would be super cool. So, and I agree, it would get kids into it. Uh, uh, wait, so are you talking about like a ticket simulator or like a rat dancing game or like a pizza joint? Yes. Yes, I think all of that would be wonderful. Also, like four animatronic guys. So at the end of the game, it works like this. Okay. Uh, everybody gets an equal number of turns. When you're done, you're going to get one point for every piece of food in your bag. You're going to get one point for every card on the table. So that is one point for each population and one point for each trait. Okay. And then one point for each card in your hand. Okay. You add all that together and the most points wins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I would have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, come 15. on, Bruce. Really? Ty, yeah. What well, happens? technically we cheated because the, he would win because, remember, I started a new turn, uh -oh. and that's unfair. I got more turns. So really I would be... What, what is a tiebreaker, though? A uh, tiebreaker is normally eat pizza and play again. That is the classic North Star Games tiebreaker, which I'm going to assume we went with. Play with that. If there's a, yeah, if there's a tie, order pizza and play again. <laughs> oh, you weren't uh, kidding. That's if you hilarious. look at all of our games, that's actually a running joke in the games. Every game, no matter how heavy or light it is, tiebreaker is always buy a pizza and play again. That's excellent. Yep. All right, so real quick, is there anything else you wanted to point out before we got to wrap up here, Bruce? Um, I would say, please, uh, if you are not watching this and you're live here, come check out our booth. If you're coming tomorrow, come check out our booth. If you're not, uh, check us out at NorthStarGames.com. Uh, please, I do social media and content for North Star Games. Find me at North Star Games and talk to me. My whole job is to talk to you about the lovely things we make and about what you're doing in your life. And Bruce is pretty damn fun, gotta yeah, say. I try. I try, gosh darn it. He's got um, a Philly cheesesteak hat on. He's got to be Well, fun. I mean, we're in Philly. I was going to do the Hawk. And then I was like, we're in Philly and I own this hat. I need to come for game time. Will you take me for cheesesteaks later? Absolutely. We'll do that. All right. And I'll take you to a real place, not Pats and Geno's. Okay. Sorry, sorry, people that own Pats and Geno's. All um, right. They're watching, I'm sure. And please, uh, check the game out at your local Target, your local Target. Target. Pick up an all right apple, a perfectly passable apple, and a copy of our game. <laughs> Inside joke from pre-show. Yeah. Check out, check out the morning show. It was delightful. All right. Thank you so much, Bruce, for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Thank you and, so much uh, for having me. Everyone, stay tuned. We're going to be doing the giveaway uh, a little bit later. And uh, remember, oh, buy some yeah, tickets, redeem some, some stuff, and you get your own chance to win a copy of Evolution. Wait a minute. Wait. Anne's helping me. Anne's helping me. Yes, everybody out there, give me 30 seconds. We're up for the Toady, which is like the Oscars of the board game world for Happy Salmon. T-O-T-Y. Go check it out online. You can vote for us. Um, if you take a look at the people that are kind of in that space, it's not really like gamer companies that are there and we want to show people that like the gamer population is important there is a vote that helps us win like the oscars of the toy world um it is called the toady it is the toy of the year and we are up for game of the year which is a really big deal but i forgot because i'm not holding the salmon so please if you're out there if you can find the link if not check on uh at north star games on twitter find us on facebook you'll find the link we would love for you to vote because we really want to win this we want to show people that that north star is an important game in that toy space as well with happy salmon and thank you so much. You are literally the best. Sorry, guys. No, that was that was good. Absolutely. That was good. Go vote for Happy Salmon. Please. All right. Thank you all for joining us. This is Twist Gaming. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more coverage from PAX Unplugged here in Philly. I'm Matt. Jeff. I'm Bruce from North Star Games. Vote for Happy Salmon for the toady. See you later. Bye.